fucked up, homie, you fucked up. But if God got us, then we go be all right. Nigga, we gon' be all right. Nigga, we gon' be all right. What's the word, people? It's your boy, Jam on the A9. Boy here with Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, this isn't gonna be just a gameplay. This is just gonna be, you're gonna be looking at some Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 footage. But today is gonna be about Xenoverse 2. Now, this video is gonna be about things that we want in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So, let's get this shit on the road. So, the first thing we want in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 is a better multiplayer mode. And when I mean better multiplayer, I'm not talking about online, I'm talking about offline. Because if you know, if you off, they had locally offline multiplayer, which was something that Battle of Z lacked. But the problem with that is you can only if first of all they changed that camera angle completely to where it looked like a burst limit game. Second, it was it was only on one map. You, it, like you know it was just weird. Like you know both players shared the screen, the, the screen really the screen, and you can only play on one map. That that shit to me was really stupid. I wish they would have changed that. At least let us play with on um, multiple maps. You're gonna do the one camera, or just split it down the middle. Let us be able to do some two v twos or three v threes with each other. I mean Dragon Ball Xenoverse is like you know let us play with up to six people. Speaking of that. That brings me to my next thing. Increase the amount of players that fight in one match. How come in the story mode we be fighting like probably like seven people we fighting, but in here we can only do like six in total. My dude, like up up the up the um shit <laughs> up the number of players that can be that like you know that can fight in one match instead of doing three up going up to three v three, do four v four like Battle of Z. That make it, that'll make it better or five v five or something like that. You know, come on, this is next gen harder. This is coming out on Xbox One and Peace. PC, you know, and people, and, uh, what the fuck is wrong with my words? PlayStation 4. I need to calm the fuck down. This is not Black Ops, but okay, but like for real, though. Like, we can do that. Um, what's name? Oh, yeah, also, when it comes to offline battles, let us be able to change the timeline. I don't know about y'all, but playing offline on Dragon Ball Xenoverse is one of the main reasons why I got, got scored so high on my game of the year list last year for 2015. But, man, I swear, this, uh, this little three minute time limit is messed up. I feel like it should be doubled by the number of players on there. So, for instance, like 1v1 should be 2 minutes, 2v2 should be 4 minutes, and 3v3 should be 6 minutes. Or at least let us just change the time period, because like, it's annoying. You be having 6 people fighting at one time. They can revive each other. 3 minutes is not enough time to all that shit to get out. Like, you know, even if time run out, you will still win if you got a lot of kills. But I'm like, I don't want that shit to be based off of me uh how many kids i want to kill all these motherfuckers and get it over with at least let us put at least let us up the time don't just let it sit at three minutes that's annoying uh what's name? let please let the story mode be you know you know take that back you know xenoverse story mode was good but from what some people are saying and this is why i have to talk about the dragon ball z community for a little bit so we're gonna pause the list right here just to talk a little bit about it. so dragon ball xenoverse community they're all like dragon ball xenoverse 2 looks just like the same story as the first so you're just going to be going back in time fixing past events that happen and with your creative character to make sure the events turn out the way they is it is going to be the same story as the first game now here's me now here's my problem with y'all so y'all won't y'all complain about that shit do y'all not realize that we have been playing the same Dragon Ball Z story every almost every fucking game that comes out? We go through the same Saiyan sagas, the Freezer sagas, Majin Buu sagas, sell all that shit. We go through all that damn we go through all them damn sagas. And y'all don't bat an eye. Y'all don't care that we playing through the same stories over and over. But the moment Xenoverse does it a second time, oh now all of a sudden y'all wanna flip. But you don't but y'all y'all steady craving for a Rage and Blast 3. Which is most likely going to have us playing with the same characters, playing through the same story mode. That's actually one of my favorite things about Xenoverse. It doesn't do it like the other Dragon Ball Z games. It actually gives us an original story that we haven't gotten in a Dragon Ball Z game before. Quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the first Dragon Ball Z game to do a story like this. And it's just like, how can y'all complain about this doing the same thing when all the other Dragon Ball Z games before have been doing the same thing? Anyway though, next, uh, let's see. Uh, remove, do something about these damn Z souls. Some of these Z souls are kind of out of hand, like making your character take less damage. I mean, well, that's not that bad, but some of these are like overpowered, like raising your stats all the way up. This, they just need to do some tweaking if they're gonna do that Z soul thing again. Also, they need to do something with these transformations. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot stand when I'm doing a motherfucking transformation and it's just the same character just with a different, like, like at least boost up the movement animations or something like that it's just a it, it, there is no way that super saiyan god super saiyan god super saiyan and regular base form goku all fight the exact same in my opinion that shit is absolutely ridiculous and it's something that needs to go down in the dm <laughs> but i played too much also nothing about transformations make our transformations 
don't take away our key. I don't know about y'all, but I hate it when I transform into a Super Saiyan and my key just constantly kept draining down. I want to, when I turn into a Super Saiyan, I want to feel like I am a Super Saiyan, nigga. I don't want to have to beat somebody ass and then have to run away to charge my key a little bit just so I can stay as a Super Saiyan 3. That shit, no. Don't, please don't do that shit. Also, change the AI for uh, offline battles. Like, I understand they did this because they got a lot of complaints in Battle Z about the AI teammates not reviving you when you got down, but. To me, it sucks the fun out of these uh these little versus battles offline when you like you know kill somebody and just like the teammates the the enemy the AI they don't even care about fighting you no more they just care about reviving their teammates so really just beating on a punching bag that don't want to fight you and it eventually just makes the fight a bit way too easy. Um, I'm trying to think so because I'm not doing this in a script. I don't got time to be writing on scripts on a damn video. That, that's 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 doing too much. It's extra. Just talk about what the fuck you want to talk about. Uh, I would have to say hmm. What else? Uh, add a cooperative story mode. This, these little time travels and stuff. We've seen all these little time travels, little people, and like you know, in, in training at the end of the first university. I mean, like it, this could have game could have had a, could have had a good story mode. You could put a co-op story mode or something. Hell, let us even do it with two players or something. Nah. Ooh. Now this is a good one. I know this is something that people been complaining about for a while. The fucking destruction. So I don't know about y'all, but I got so pissed off in Xenoverse 1, and I feel like this because this game was held back because it had the release versions on the last gen consoles, which I feel, I hope it's fixed because, this, you know, the second game is only next gen only, but I hate it when I shot a Kamehameha on the motherfucking ground, it created that dope ass looking crater line, and that shit disappeared in like two seconds, it made me like, like it made me feel like, Okay, what's the point of putting it in there if you just gonna erase it? And like, no, that they need to change that shit. They need to make it to where it actually stays though, which I'm pretty confident they can do. This is next gen technology. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much it. That's just about it. Uh I really don't have too much else they should put in uh Xenoverse, you know, of course more maps, you know, DLC characters, you know, you know. Um, you know they're going to, I'm pretty positive super characters are going to be put in there. Some people are like, well, they haven't been put in, uh, Super hasn't even appeared in America yet. Well, they explain to me why Beerus and Whis and Super Saiyan God Goku was in Battle of Z before, uh, what's the name of, before Battle of Gods even came to America. So, you know, it, it's possible to happen. I mean, come on now, like, have some faith. Uh, yeah, my God. Uh, to be honest, I really can't think of anything else I would want to see in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 or see them improve on anything in Xenoverse 1 well probably stuff like in game fusions or you know I don't have, I'm don't, not really too worried about graphics if the graphics look like how it was when Frieza was killing Bardock in the trailer if the graphics look just like that that would be absolutely amazing you know change up the combos a little bit you know, like you know don't give all the characters the same combo buttons if you're gonna do that double no don't do that at all cause you know Get granted, some characters like everybody didn't have the same. They had the same combo buttons, but how the combo ended was different depending on the character. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about all I want for Xenoverse Two. I might post more in the comments. You know, uh, feel free to comment below what you want to see in Xenoverse Two. Of course, you know more races and shit like that. This is me, your boy J Man the A Now Boy. Who my throat is sore. I'm out this bitch. Peace. Gonna achieve it like I never had nothing before And I'ma stack it like I never had money before Cause I came from the bottom, remain at the bottom And now I'm at the top, so I'm waving at the bottom so long